Hi, and welcome back to Exploring Tai Chi. In this session here, I will teach you a little part of a Qigong set from the five set of Soaring Crane. As you probably remember, in the beginning, when we went into the uh, system of Sam Tam, I said that when you look at the Soaring Crane, Qigong, at least the way I was taught them from uh, Master Sam Tam, it's a bit like when you look at the Master Huang system, the way he uses the five relaxing exercises to sort of explain how to move uh, in his form. In Sam Tam's form, when, when you take the Soaring Crane Qigong, each of the set has something to offer to help you to understand the way you move and the way the energy is supposed to work in, the, in his form. The first one we did, the first drawing uh, crane set was the expansion opening up of the joints, which we also do in the standing practice. This one here is a bit more about sensing and feeling the energy. And apart from that, we also have the same thing that we have in Soren Crane 1, that we had the release of the internal force. Uh, but I'll get back to that when we get to it. First of all, I will do the set roughly and then put in a few explanations. It's a very good Qigong set, by the way, and uh, most people feel quite nice when they do it. You start out from the Wuchi standing. From here, the arm moves up. The thumbs are pointing upwards. When you get to about shoulder level, you turn, palm facing down. Then we form what we call a sword hand, holding like this, thumbs around little finger and ring finger. Then we move towards the side, heel off the ground, down on flat foot again. Then we pull in the left, push out from the right. Pulling from the right, push out from the left. We do it three times with the each hand, moving in, pushing out, moving in, pushing out. One more time, moving in, pushing out, 